Welcome back to the Business English course by the Ministry of Public Education of the Republic of Uzbekistan for school students. My name is Mahmoud Vasabohata Dilbekovna, and today we will start step number one successful business skills. Before starting step number two, I want to revise or summarize the first step because as a teacher, I know how important is repetition in teaching and learning. Think about your little brothers or sisters, how you taught brushing their teeth. Probably your mother or elder member of your family said every day, brush your teeth in the morning, again in the evening, brush your teeth. Day by day, it became a habit. Why you don't use this technique in your learning process? Repeat what you learned till they became a habit. So let's revise. We learned about how you can improve your communication skills. You don't have to worry about your grammar mistakes or vocabulary. Just practice. Practice makes you perfect. And I shared some survival English phrases. And you learn about your tone and style. Tone, it is how you sound others. Style, how you deliver your message to others. And we discuss it about being like a chef or artist in using language. You have to be creative. You have to cook your speech delicious or you draw your flowers beautiful to look. And you learn how to introduce yourself in business meeting. You learn how to introduce yourself in business meeting and how to behave in job interview. It's time to move step number two, successful business skills. In this step, we will talk about problem solving skills, time management, networking, and persuasive speaking. At the beginning, I want to talk about your English language skills. I mentioned several times. English can help you to bright your future. It is very important in your future career. And in this video, I want to talk about it more. Firstly, why do we need world languages? Let me give an example again. Imagine you are planning studying abroad with your friends in your class. There is no world languages. You are planning uh, to study in the USA. You have to learn English. American English. One of your friends is planning to study in Japan and he should learn Japanese language. Your another friend is planning to study in Russia. He should learn Russian. So after graduation, your friend in Japan inviting you to work in Japan. And again, you have to learn Japanese language. It's a really serious problem, isn't it? For this reason, we need world languages. Now, English is dominant language in education, media, sinus, ICT, and etc. It opens doors for you in studying and working. If you want to study abroad, you have to travel another country. While you are traveling, if you have enough English language skills, you may find someone who can understand what you say in other countries, even if it's not an English-speaking country. And it gives a chance to work while you are studying. Working while you are studying, uh, it helps you not just financially, but professionally as well. You will improve your working place skills like time management and dealing with problems and you will learn how to work with your colleagues and you will learn the important skills in a working place like time management or cooperation and etc. Besides this, access to online content, social networking and relationships are conducted more in English than in any other languages. What is social networking? The term social networking refers to use of internet-based social media sites to stay connected with friends, family, colleagues, or customers. Social networking can have a social purpose or a business purpose. How social networking works? 
Social networking involves the development and maintenance of a personal and business relationships by using technology. This is done through the use of social networking sites such as Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Social networking is also a significant opportunity for marketers in seeking to engage customers. It is commonly used by them to increase brand recognition and encourage brand loyalty. Social media marketing helps promote a brand voice and content. It can help make a company more accessible to new customers. After graduation of university, English gives you a chance a postgraduate qualification. You can enter most uh, famous universities in the world with the score 6 or 6.5 in IELTS for postgraduate qualification. Moreover, while you are improving your English speaking skills, you will uh, work on your presentational skills as well because exam speaking tasks require you to present information clearly and to deal with questions efficiently. It means you have to speak on topic, not out of topic, because if you speak out of topic, you will lose your score. And in English, there are very clear writing structures. And there are very clear structures in writing application, letters, resume, reports in English. When you are applying for a job, your application letter can tell a lot about you. As you saw, improving your English language skills can help you in your future career a lot. That's why learn English and write your future. Thank you for watching this video and being with me. I do appreciate your attention. See you next time.